Hi guys, I'm Juliana, your automotive woman. Welcome back to How To Tuesdays. If you missed a previous episode of How To Tuesdays, click the link above. Trust me when I say you don't wanna miss How To Tuesdays. I save you time, I save you money. I feature some pretty cool car tech, and every once in a while I share my driving tips I learned on my family's go-kart track. Like today, I'm gonna teach you how to navigate a roundabout. And clearly, I didn't learn how to navigate a roundabout on my family's go-kart track. No, I actually learned them and experienced them for the first time while I was traveling in Europe competing on the international karting circuit. I was in Paris, France, and I thought to myself, how the heck do you get around here? Well, I'm gonna show you, but first, some important signs you should know. Before arriving at a roundabout, you'll be shown signs which indicate speed, how many exits there are, and which lane takes you where. A pedestrian warning with a yield sign and the direction of the roundabout. The most important tip I can provide you with is always approach a roundabout slowly and use your signal. Now, I'm gonna jump in my car and show you some real world examples. Okay, if you're a new driver, to learn a roundabout, the simplest one is a right-hand turn. So I'm approaching a roundabout. I am looking for my speed. I know I'm 20 kilometers an hour. I know the direction it moves. I know how many exits. My signal is on. I'm in my right-hand turn lane. There are no pedestrians. I'm yielding to traffic. There is no traffic. I continue to turn right and that's it. That's the easiest way to learn a roundabout is doing a right-hand turn. Okay, in this next example, I want to go straight and use the second exit. So I'm approaching my roundabout. Now there's markers which indicate which lane I should be in. I'm approaching slowly. I'm looking for pedestrians, my signal, is on, I'm yielding to traffic. Now my marker on the ground says I need to be on the left-hand lane. I am turning, I'm looking over my shoulder for my blind spot, my signal is on to indicate I'm turning and I continue straight. Super important, you look for your markers, make sure you're in the right lane, signal and check that blind spot. In this example, I'm going to be turning left and using the third exit. Always the same steps. Looking for the signs which indicate what direction the roundabout works in. I'm looking for how many exit points there, there actually are. I'm approaching slowly. Again, I am turning left looking on the ground for my indicators or my signs tell me. My signal is on that I'm going left. There are no pedestrians. I'm yielding to traffic. I can go across. Now my signal remains on because I am turning left. I'm constantly looking. Stay in your lane. Now I'm going to cross over, check the blind spot. Again, stay in your lane, you're clear to go. Just as easy, again, drive slow, signal on, head on a swivel, constantly looking. In this last example, I'm going to be doing a complete UE around the roundabout. And again, always the same process. Approach slowly, look for your signs which indicate your exit points, look for the markers which tell you which lane you should be in. Signal is on. I'm going to be turning left all the way around. I'm looking for pedestrians. I'm yielding to traffic. If there's two cars in there, you yield to both of them. Super important. I follow when it's safe. My signal is still on all the way around because I'm going completely left. Looking for the other cars, my signal is on. I'm about to turn right. Now I change my signal to the right. I stay in my same lane and I continue forward. Guys, navigating a roundabout is easy. 
you have to approach slowly look at the direction it moves in look for pedestrians pedestrians always have the right of way and of course yield to oncoming traffic please I welcome you to share this video with your friends and family members who have been driving for a while as a reminder and the most important tool you have is that signal that turning signal it's your best friend when you're in a car but for now i'm juliana your automotive woman make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss how to tuesday or feature car friday thanks guys